<laughs> okay, hey guys, so we are heading to the airport now and um, my driver's like, what's going on? <laughs> and uh, we're a little bit behind, of course. <laughs> Leave it to us. And we have figured out our visa situation. So I got mine approved. Anthony <laughs> has to, <laughs> is getting a letter of approval because his photo got rejected. So, um, face card declined. Face card declined. <laughs> so we are heading to the airport now, and it's a five hour something flight, and then our bus. Saba is like five hours after that, so we will see you guys and check in soon. All right, we made it. We almost got, um, we almost like they changed our gate last minute, so kind of got lost. So there's like this Disney princess song that keeps playing over the thing. <laughs> and Anthony's memorized it now because they've repeated it like 600 times. <laughs> Sorry, I would I wish the camera was farther back, but the seat in front of me is like right here. Like touch that. Yeah. Okay, so we just made it to Vietnam. I picked up our bags and um, Anthony, because he had that letter of approval issue with his photo, um, it's taking a little bit longer to get him through the line. So we just have to wait for him to get through immigrations. And then we have, I think like, five hours to wait and then we have our bus heading to Sapa so I'm excited Anthony and I just got here it's 7 30 a.m. local time and so the bus that we took the overnight bus was kind of gross I'm not gonna lie I felt so unclean in there on that bed And honestly, there's so much dirt kicked up here on the ground that, and maybe some mold because I cannot breathe. Like I'm gonna have to use my inhaler here. So that's kind of stressing me out. And our room is not ready. Even though they told us to come anytime, there is a massive language barrier that we weren't anticipating because from Quickly, what I saw on Google is that they all speak English here, which is not the case. So we're probably going to struggle a little bit. There's also, yeah, so it's 7.30 in the morning. We can't get breakfast because it's only directly given to our hotel room and our room is not ready. So we're staying in this little whatever spare room area, just chilling out. Whatever. Um... And the ceilings are short here. Like, I'm gonna hit my head. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we are chilling here till our room is ready. And we're literally on the top of a hill, so we can't get anywhere for food. Um, nothing that's within like walking distance. So. Well, it's walking distance, but it's far. So we're actually, I don't know, gonna starve ourselves for, we're gonna fast for a little bit, I don't know. Um, I also feel like they're not gonna take tap here. Um, I got really lucky in Bali without my credit card, but here I don't think that's gonna be the case. So yeah, I will check back in with you guys when we actually get into our room, but we, literally walked, I wanna say like 
50 minutes to get to this spa instead of taking a $9 Canadian taxi, um, which is fine, whatever. It's just like, they weren't very, it's the instructions and the language barrier is a problem. And so we're really gonna have to do our own research, I think, and just use the hell out of Google Translate while we're here. So I will check back in with you guys when we get into our room. Okay, hey guys, so we finally got our space and honestly, it is so nice. I'm so happy with the space that we have. So I'm about to show you guys our little villa stay that we're in. It's so cute. This is our uh, front lawn, by the way. We got a cute little front lawn. So this is our front door. Lights. So they provided us with slippers, which of course, as North Americans, we do not wear slippers in the house. So, um, and they also don't fit Anthony, but that's okay. So this is, it's a one bathroom, um, which is fine. And shower looks cute. And then we have our upstairs main bedroom, which I probably should have started with last, but who cares? I'm not a home tour expertise. Um, so, oh, there's a second bathroom. Fuck, okay, never mind. So there's two bathrooms. Yay, we don't have to share bathrooms. Anthony's so sweet. Every time we're in a space together, he's like, you take the bigger bed. And I'm like, really? Like, are you sure it's okay? So, that is the one bedroom downstairs and then we come down to our living space area we have um, a mini bar mini fridge like literally so many um and what else we've got a little toaster oven all of this wine here i thought was originally complimentary isn't but i'm probably gonna just end up buying one of these because why not? It's a beautiful space to have this. And we have a double bed here, which Anthony is very kindly taking. I told him we can just sleep in the same bed. It's not a big deal. Um, and this is our living space, guys. We've got a fireplace. The fireplace looks like you can actually like use it because there's wood here and stuff. So I think where we can probably actually like use it. It's cold, by the way, if you haven't realized. So this is like a little curtain for the room upstairs. And then my, one of my favorite parts is our balcony. So our view overlooks the rice terrace and stuff like that. And then we have a swing uh, guys we have a swing and it looks out into the forest and the mountains and rice terrace and it's just absolutely beautiful um we also have a pool area over here i don't know if you can see that there's also a gym because again it's a hotel right um so there's that space that's our lobby area over here and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, so nice. I'm honestly, guys, like, at the end of it all, like, I'm really happy with the room. I'm happy with, even though, like, we had to wait quite a bit to get the, the room, it's okay. It was worth the wait. I'm gonna have some nice time uh, journaling and having some wine out here. Like, I feel like I'm in Napa Valley or something. Like, I feel like I'm in California or Italy, like looking at a winery, it's amazing. Not that our other Airbnb wasn't great. It was, it had its own perks as well. This place doesn't have uh, soaps, for example, or, um, you know, water. We had <laughs> like, they comp gave us like one bottle of complimentary water, but I just, that's not gonna be enough for us. So we have to go into town. We paid a total 
of roughly $378 Canadian for five nights um, altogether. So that's pretty good. Um, and Cambodia is going to be even cheaper. I can't wait to show you guys that space because we got a, a nice apartment for a pretty good price as well. And that one's like, I don't want to say even nicer than the Bali one, but it's pretty nice. So now we're just going to go eat some food because we haven't eaten anything all morning. And... Yeah, then we're gonna go do some stuff in town. I'm gonna end today's vlogging. I'm not gonna do all the other stuff because it's gonna be really boring um, and irrelevant for the rest of today. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode and I will see you guys next time. See.